In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups, the one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These, are the archives. Okay, you're a hater. You're a hater, okay? Mm -mm. Get up and dance for us. I have lipstick all over my thing. I don't know what to dance to. My lipstick is so bad. Um, I don't know how to dance, so. Shave that rug. Nope. I don't know what they're talking about. Probably my beard, my head, I don't know, something. Your hood? Head. Oh, I was like, is that what they call it now? <laughs> my hood. <laughs> I mean, that does make sense. Because isn't it above your peen? Your pubes? I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I look like. That's funny. You're crazy. Nobody wants to see you clean. Apparently they do. That's what I'm saying. How do you know I did it? You had to watch it. Eric got cornrow. <laughs> My sister did it once. That shit hurts. Don't do it. I can even lay head on a pillow. How are you doing? I am good. Um, how's Becky's mom? Um, she's all right. I don't. I don't really know what to say about that, but thank you for asking. Yes, I clean. I love that color on you. Thank you. Nice chest rug. Thank you. Would you shave that? I don't know. It'll come back. I'm yeah, but sure. whenever you shave something, like it comes back like double. Ooh. So that's why I'm like, no, I don't think I would. How did? I don't understand. How does it feel to have chest hair? Like it's normal, right? Yeah, it's I mean, like you're normal, so yeah. you just you're just like I'm such a hairy person. There'd be no point in me shaving it because I would have to stay on top of it so freaking often. It'd be ridiculous. Like how my quick my facial hair grows back in, that'd be like my chest, and I could not and would not. Wait a minute, that. you have chest hair? Wait, That's really? Over the wait, wait, no, <laughs> really process it for a minute. Yes. Who the fuck has chest hair? Lots of men. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing you like that. I never processed what it was. Truly, deep down. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. We don't see each other for like things like that. We just no. like the norm. <laughs> um, would you shit Becky and Destiny? <laughs> I love you, boo. Hope your sex life is going good, especially in these sad times. Thank you for the um, super chat. <laughs> Destiny and Becky would not be a good couple. They're so different. They're like almost opposites in a lot of ways. They're but, similar in some, but I don't think Becky likes girls like that. I don't think so either. Women can have chest hair too. Oh my god, that makes me think of Mean Girls. Uh, I like your uh, wig, Janice. What's it made of? Your mom's chest hair. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> um, I don't remember that part. Oh my goodness. Can we can you zoom out? They're similar in size. Us? No, I think they're <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Um, what? Eric is so annoying. Jesus. How do you deal with me? Oh. God. What TV couples do you ship? Um. Huh? Uh-huh. I like, I um. Know. I'm thinking of TV shows that we watch. Well, I mean. Um. Dan and Serena. Um. Marceline and PB. Uh. What about you? You don't have any? I am. Oh! From Sex Education! Oh uh, my god, who are, what are their names? That girl and then the really skinny tall one? Is that what you're talking about? Would you eat Becky's ass if she wanted you to? <laughs> no! No, the two at the end that are holding hands? Oh, the um, the jock guy and then the, the girl, the girl. The, where she's on the uh, math, math league? Yeah, something like that? them okay. two. Yes. Oh! <laughs> my heart. Did I say that girl and the other girl? I meant to say that guy. I, and the I thought you did. I could have swore I heard guy. She's always drunk. What are you talking about? Oh my god, that's getting so old. That's such an old question. Would you wax? Um, I don't know. If I did, I, I may do it just spe uh, specifically for a video. But if oh my god. just for myself, no. That would freaking hurt. No, god no. Have you ever gotten something waxed? 
Yes, I used to do my eyebrows. That's the only thing. That's hard to believe, right? That Amber Lynn, I get made fun of about my eyebrows more than anything. But in high school, I really get them professionally done. Yeah. Why do you get made fun about your eyebrows? Because I don't have any. Oh, I mean they're faint, but they're there. (laughs) I think getting your eyebrows waxed feels so good because it's like warm, and then she's like, like it depends on where you go. Because like you know who I'm talking. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like, I used to go there, you know, get my hair cut, and then, like, she waxed my eyebrows, but if the people don't stay, like, on top of the wax, like, it breaks it breaks out, like, where they waxed you. Have you never had that happen? Mm. Like, if they don't change the wax out and keep it fresh all the time, like, it breaks you out? I don't think I've ever had that. It just gets a little, like, red. Oh, no. It's Without being out. smug or condescending, can you explain why you refuse to wear a new bra? Thank you for the super chat. Um, I don't know how I could possibly be smug or condescending in that question. <laughs> But it's because I can't find one that fits. Favorite character in TV show Charmed. <gasps> I've never seen it. Oh, for the super chat. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Piper and Leo, you would totally... No, tell her she needs to watch uh, Charmed. Tell I just her. Thought of, I just thought of another couple I shipped. Um, Orange is the New Black, Nikki, and What's that the girl from the last um, season. Um, she was from a different country. Oh, my God, what was her name? I don't know. That was the first time Nikki ever really truly loved someone and that was just beautiful i thought you were gonna mention that whatever girl no oh, so, oh. no no you no. like her no oh no. i don't know what that was <laughs> tell her she needs to watch the charm you would love it i'm not even joking you almost seem favorite character shawnee okay 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 oh her name is Shawn- oh, is it i don't know i didn't watch it the last season oh my gosh stop i don't stop know what i don't know <laughs> is twinkie a communist what the Okay. Watch Charm. Yes, tell her people. Mm. Taco Tuesday for Cinco de Mayo. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. It is two- Cinco de Mayo, Taco Tuesday. Oh, wow. If you had to be one Mean Girls character, who would you be? Regina. <laughs> Caddy, Katie, whatever. I don't know. You need to play the life of the game Life is a Strange. Life is Strange? That's the one I've been wanting to play. You mentioned it, but what is it about again? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to play it. Do you want more pets? Not right now. Go to bed. What? Okay. Go to bed. <laughs> now you got to do like the movies, like uh, back in like the you know early two thousand movies. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Have you ever seen Deuce Bigelow Mel Chicolo? Deuce Bigelow Mel Chicolo. Yes, it sounds familiar. Uh, where that girl, uh, she's like narcoleptic. Cause like where he's a he use, uh his pimp uses them where he's trying to repair that guy's fish tank that he broke where he's watching his house and he so he has to be like a gigolo go on all these dates with all these different girls and she's like narcoleptic so he ties her uh, ponytail to like this thing because they're having soup because she's like I'm afraid to go to restaurants I can't eat soup uh, soup I'm afraid I'm gonna drown so whenever she does like that it like catches her face so she doesn't fall into her soup what in the world <laughs> Becky, have you seen Deuce Bigelow? I remember you're a beautiful well? human being and haters are just jealous of you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I appreciate the compliment. Oh, I'm so, Thank you. I'm so awkward. I'm so Thank awkward. You. Let's talk about conspiracies. Okay. What What's one it? that you believe? Mandala effect. 100% hands down. Yes, God boots the house down. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what happened? <laughs> what? We have somehow slipped into an alternate dimension. Oh, whatever. Okay, which one do you believe? The moon landing? Okay, I agree with you on that one. Did not happen. Okay. We've talked about it and actually that one, yeah. Did not happen. You convinced me on that one. And I'm sorry, people are going to get so mad. So mad. I don't think that's a conspiracy. Coronavirus is man-made. I thought that was proven. I don't think that's a conspiracy, right? Um, The moon landing 100% did happen. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> I'm done. This is over. I'm ascending to the 50th dead, 50th, 50th, I cannot say it, 50th, 50th, 50th dead world. I kept saying 50th. I don't understand. <laughs> Calm down, Amber. I am passionate about this subject. But passionate. I thought you said it, what? I thought there was like proof that it was released, that it was man-made. There's articles about it, like true actual articles that they're saying that it was accidentally, um, accidentally released in China. I don't know. I don't want to talk about all this. Uh, oh, damn. Uh, it's too scary. What's another one? Conspiracy, you believe. Give us the moon landing tea. <laughs> well, y'all need to watch some documentaries because there are things that happen in it that it don't make sense. They're physically and scientifically I'm about to say, you just impossible. Need to state one thing and it will shut it down. How is the flag going like this? There are like custom bras made for you. Y'all have to look into it. Okay. The shadows in it, 
you can't have a sh it don't make sense unless there's a light y'all y'all <laughs> every single time neil tried to go up to the moon the thing would explode and then all of a sudden it works <laughs> but the it's one that you, the one that you pointed out to me that really convinced me is how the f is the flag blowing on the moon yeah that's not a thing um eric's wig is tragic that's cool it's not a wig honey it's a merkin i know such as y'all um it's a vagina wig. God, there are so many things that prove it's not. Oh, my favorite one! I just got so long because I just remembered. I don't have an eardrum anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. When they showed, okay, this is day one on the moon. We're at this area. This is day two on the moon. We're in a new area, but it's the same area every single time. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I cannot do this anymore. You are making no sense. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Did not happen. That is one thing. She is advertising her stupidity. It is so fucking okay. You need to do your research. You will be mind blown. Watch documentaries. It is scary. Why are you yelling, Chad? I'm yelling because I'm passionate it about this. It's chilly. Chile. I texted Twinkie a couple days ago. She said she loves you. Also, what good sex positions. I stuck it to only three. <laughs> footage fake because radiation destroyed film but we landed no even not but thank you for the um super chat i appreciate it um we didn't we did not go to the moon um sex positions i don't know that man i'm not creative oh I, like, I don't know that i i i don't i didn't read the book or whatever karma sutra karma sutra or whatever you pronounce it caramel sutra <laughs> i'm done what's another one that i believe in that's like full-fledged i'm like this is 100 percent true I don't think there's like any. I just fully believe that we did not land on the moon. Oh my god! Do you remember that one we were talking about about the whole um, Ellen DeGeneres and like under house arrest and all that? And, like that's weird. Yeah, that whole and then thing they were was communicating weird. to each other through. Uh, yeah, that their, whole thing was. That was yeah. People think I'm a flat earther. Um, I just have an open mind. <laughs> People are gonna Kim, come. To Kim me. Myers said wants to sneak in here and cut my hair while I'm sleeping. That totally reminds me of uh, some Michael, because you have the last name as him, Michael Myers. Hmm. If we went to the moon, we'd see the flat earth. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know, that was funny. Wait, I'm confused. They said if we went? Yeah. <sighs> so are they saying the earth isn't flat, or we did go to the moon, or we didn't go to the moon? I'm confused. I don't know, but it was funny. <laughs> well, like, if you're saying if, so you're saying it didn't happen. I'm confused. <sighs> Why do they keep... That's so... What? Yeah, racist. Yes. And disgusting. Does Becky even find you attractive? Um, yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she says yes. I don't know how, but... Does she only read comments if you give her money? No. I do not. 100%. 100% we did go to the moon. 100% Earth is flat. I am... The moon thing is absolutely correct. <laughs> There's literally in Area 51, there is a place that looks exactly like the moon landing photo shoot. I'm just not even. I, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm so fucking done. Um, as for the Earth being flat, it's a probability. <laughs> it is a probability that we are a uh, globe. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the truth. Honestly. Oh! There's no such thing as astronauts. They're, they have little strings attached to them. <laughs> Do you think the government did 9-11? I honestly don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know that one. I don't want to be insensitive to that. Okay. Astronauts are not real. They have strings. Watch the videos. Why do you need a string if you're in the freaking gravity pool or whatever? What am I saying? <laughs> I can't. Because the floor <laughs> And then sometimes the girls' hairs are like, Whoa! and then other times the hairs are just like chilling. <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> and then, and then they always, <laughs> and they always have like different astronauts have different answers to like, I'm literally crying. I can't. Oh man. Stupidity is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. 
Oh my gosh. I know, my hair, it's crazy, people. Oh, conspiracy. Becky only stays because you support her financially. I can support myself on my own, thank you. She said, I can support myself on my own, thank, thank you. you. That part. Secondhand embarrassment to the max. I am so fine with that. Like, point blank period, the end. How un-American. So disrespectful. I don't, I, I don't know what to say because... Because you have your own thoughts and opinions on something. Yeah, you don't believe it. You shouldn't have strings as an astronaut floating in the thing. You should be floating naturally. I don't know. I didn't write it. I, I can't. Thank you, Robert. <clears throat> I didn't... I didn't put them in the video and be like... Well, whatever, you're in there... And I saw the reflection. Yeah, I think you showed me this stuff, didn't you? Yeah, I saw the reflection. Like, this is so, so fake. Um, I plead the fifth. Shrink so they don't float away. They asked if we're high. And I would like to pass the question. No. I plead the fifth. <laughs> Listen. I thought Amber couldn't get any more annoying me. I'm okay with it. Like, I live for it. Um, I'm not high. This is, this is how I act on the daily fucking basis. I just don't show that in my videos because why, you know? Look at the response you're getting right now. Yeah. That's probably why. Like, I'm just really freaking annoying, weird, loud. Same. That's, That's why just... neither one of us really show our true personality on camera. Yeah. Y'all did drugs before this. I do not do drugs. I do not drink. I do not smoke. <laughs> oh, shit. You just reminded me of something I saw on YouTube. Penis? No, a reaction <laughs> channel. I can't even say it. Never mind. Um, She's not high. She's just so bad. I, I am. I, yeah. Did Epstein kill himself? I don't know what that means. That whole big thing about, like, I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to think. Do I have any conspiracies about, like, deaths? Oh, the earth is flat so Amber can be round. That's funny. That's what is content. It the whole, um, That's content. What is it the whole thing where it shows, um, oh, okay, let you answer have you been drinking alcohol so tell eric he's handsome and sweet soul thank you for the super chat and i promise you i'm not drinking thank you you're so sweet that's really kind but do you know what i'm talking about where it shows um i think it was like the videos of flat earth where it shows like the thing sinking in like it's gonna collapse in on itself like the the hooser what's gonna the collapse hooser? let me show you let me show you is bexy bexy because <laughs> she's sexy yeah <laughs> is becky the one who has to do the cat litter thank you for the super chat and she, honestly she does it she does it more frequently than i do is there an afterlife um thank you guys for the super chats and i don't believe in the afterlife i feel like once you die it's just you're sleeping forever can't think there's nothing there you're just that's just my thoughts but everyone has different thoughts like literally everyone um if you can respect my opinion i'll respect yours because it's just an opinion that's all it is is becky gaining weight i don't think so um, Becky, do you believe in any conspiracies? Um, there are billions of other no. galaxies. Wrong. She said there are billions of other galaxies. That I feel like that's not even a conspiracy. That's I'm just like a fact. fact. Yeah. Let, me let me rephrase. Okay, rephrase. There are Jesus is alternate dimensions of our world in each one. Okay, she believes there are ultimate dimensions. Huh? <coughs> alternate. That's not what you said. What'd I you say? Said ultimate. No. You there did. are ultimate. <laughs> alternative. Wait, what? There are alternative. Uh, she thinks there are alternative dimensions. dimensions. No, al alternate. Al alternate. Alternate. <laughs> there are alternate dimensions. Of our world. Of our world. What? And, and, each, one. and each one. There we go. Do you believe that vaccines cause autism? I don't know enough on the topic to like be able to say yes or no. I really have no idea. Um, wow, you're not funny right now. We all believe in aliens, huh? Yeah. yeah. 100% hands down. If they think that we're the only things that exist in this whole universe, small mindedness. As a biochemist educated at top universities, hearing you two try to talk about science is so painful. Um, thank you for the super chat, and I don't think we were talking about you're science. very smart. Love that for you. Um, but <laughs> this is just silly talk Rambling. off the whim. Like this isn't. I'm not. We're not trying to and, educate and have a class. Yeah. <laughs> People ask what conspiracies we believe in, and we named them. End of the day. Y'all are deaf high. 
I promise I'm not. We're definition. Oh right. my god, that is so fucking insane. To We're me. high def. Because people that act goofy and can be whatever apparently are dumb and stupid people. If you try being fun and goofy, and apparently you're just not allowed. But then there's how many different people on TikTok and YouTubers that they eat that shit up when they're stupid and goofy and having fun with their friends. Yeah, but it's just, since it's Amber Lynn, it's not funny and it's not cool. It's not a fun person. Um, I'm not answering that. What was that sorry? Like a sex question. But oh my god. You should play The Last of Us. I have played that. I cannot wait for the second one. Have you ever played it? Uh-uh. It's, you'd like it. What's your favorite song slash type of music to calm you down? Thank you for the super chat. To calm me down? Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish? Yeah, Billie yeah. Eilish, I guess. Um, talk about being an empath. Eric, why don't you tell them how I am? What you've, what you've seen from me regarding that topic. Okay. Um... Let me think of like an incident. Oh God. <laughs> um, let's see. Being ignorant. Okay. Um, whenever like someone's like upset over something or like sad and then like you'll start crying too over it or someone's like being sour in a sour mood, like you're just like you pick up on it. Yeah. Think about it hard. You know, those gays, the annoying ones. That's Eric. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, isn't it weird how forgetful you've been lately? I've noticed that too, and it's honestly kind of creepy. But, um, <gasps> what just happened? Oh, what was I saying? Amber, can you send me a hug? Hugs to you, girl. I wish we could hug. But regarding the empath thing, I feel other people's emotions, and I take on them. And if I see anyone crying, I see a, like a, not even a super sad thing on the internet, just slightly sad. I'm bawling my eyes out. I, I feel sadness and hurt and pain for other people more than I do myself, if that makes sense. Do you believe in Illuminati? Mm -mm, I do not believe in the Illuminati at all. <laughs> Becky does. That's so weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I'm not one side or the other. Google the definition of empathy. If that person was that scientific, they wouldn't be here. Come the F on. Thank you for the super chat. I'm not trying to be like spitting facts. I'm just talking about, you know. The ability to understand and share the feelings of another. The ability to understand. Wait. Sorry. The ability to understand and share the feelings of another. That is exactly me. Point blank period. The end. Like, I wish you guys knew me in person. I really, truly do. Do you like the gorillas? Um, I only have a few songs that I like of theirs. You? E. Someone's like, no, it's not. I, I didn't write the definition, but okay. Tell Google it's wrong. I know, right? <laughs> Go to Wikipedia and change it. <laughs> How's your eye twitch thing? It's okay. I mean, it's getting better. Show your us your LNL legs and lipidema, you sexy girl. You're gross. She's drunk. I'm not. This is me sober. So is Eric. I don't know. Do you like the gorillas? Mm. Not, I mean, not really. Like, I don't sit there and say, oh, yeah, I like them. Right. I just have a few songs that I like about them. I mean, like about them. Like, that I like by them. Um, yeah. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Why doesn't Becky have a job? Because Amberlynn makes enough for the both of us. Because I make enough for the both of us times 12. Okay, I'm just so what would my money do? Huh? Like, what yeah, like what Becky said, what would my money do? Like if she had a job, what would her money do? I have Amber a lot of relationships do that. Do you have a favorite or what's your favorite Netflix series? Sex education is the first thing that popped in my head. What do you think about the pyramids conspiracy? I don't honestly don't know it to have an opinion. Thank you for the super chat. What's your favorite Netflix? Do they mean just, like, exclusive to it? I honestly don't know. I um, guess so. I guess that makes the most sense. Um, I'm really huge on sex education also. I mean, I have a couple, though. Like, Stranger Things, That, The Politician. Um, I've never seen those. Oh, my God. You need to watch The Politician. I'm literally going to go in there and just, like, watch you one night and just open it and just, your eyes and just turn it off. <laughs> Too good. Okay, whatever. 
I didn't read it that. Why does she think is sexy? Why does she think is sexy? You know what I noticed? <clears throat> I'll say a sentence. Yes. And people will say that I said the opposite. I say I'm an empath. They say I'm not. I say I'm ugly. They say that I think I'm hot. I say I'm not transphobic because I'm not. They say that I am. I say that I like puzzles. They say that I don't. Like, it's just like, what is going on? You guys... I'm saying who I am. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to be my own person. They just no. want to paint me as the person they want me to be, which is pathetic. Are you planning to have babies who would carry it? Um, no, we're not planning it. No. Okay. Can read them on. Thank you, Tanya. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Least in or least and most favorite what? Least and most favorite. School memories, I think is what it said. Oh, Lord. Um, you go first if you want to. <laughs> okay, favorite is a new school year starting and you get to buy all the new uh, paper. <laughs> and, paper. Like, <laughs> and like organize. Least favorite is my home life. I don't know. Because I don't have, like, for some reason I correlate school with my home also because I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. Have you ever taken that MBTI personality test? I'm super curious to know your type. I'm INFP. Thank you, Amber, for the super chat. And I have taken it, but I forget what it was. Okay, what's yours? Um, least favorite would probably be the one time whenever uh, I lived in Michigan, it was an elementary school. And I had like this friend, his name was Charlie. And I was even super flamboyant and gay back then. I loved Sailor Moon. <laughs> so, um, but there was this kid, his name was Josh, I think. And he basically, you know, he, like, bullied me. And, like, whenever my mom, I, like, tried fighting him because my mom, when I came home and told her about what was happening to me, she said, either you stand up for yourself and fight him, or if you come home, she's like, you won't have to be afraid of him. I'm going to kick your ass. So, <laughs> I like, so I was like, okay, um, I have to try. So, and this is when I was back and quiet and timid, not, you know, how I am today. And, like, I kept rushing at him, and he just kept, like, shoving me into the ground and stuff like that. But I kept getting up and going every single time. So, like I said, it's not about how many times you fall. And get knocked down as long as you get, get up. Keep going. That's true. Knock me down nine times and I'll get up ten. <laughs> well, damn. So you gave a specific one. That's what they were just saying, that they want specific. Well, there's that one. A favorite school memory? Would so probably, I'll do mine after you. Um, Favorite? You can do that while I think of a favorite because that's hard. I don't know if I okay. have a favorite one. Um, my favorite was actually a school dance. Does that count? So um, I love dancing which a lot of people know that. And so we were at a school dance and we didn't know it, but the DJ was actually judging us on our dancing and we didn't even know it. Okay. So at the end of the dance, he says, I've been watching y'all. It's kind of creepy. Actually. <laughs> I've been watching y'all and I choose three winners of who danced the best in my opinion. Oh, and I was the first one. I was like, what? How you doing? Um, and then my least favorite is probably the first thing I can think of. This girl, she was calling me a lot of names, like regarding my like color of my skin. Yeah, and so my friend was trying to stick up for me, so they started fist fighting, and I was over here like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Can we just all be happy and peaceful? <laughs> I have no idea, and I ended up having to go to court for it. Because I was a witness. And we it wasn't even like real court. We had to sit in this like small little room. It was the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. I have no idea. No idea. Damn. And then my dad ended up stealing a laptop from the very building. What the fuck? Oh my. <laughs> that was when I had to live with them for like the trial to see if they were better or whatever. Holy but shit. But yeah, they literally, she was like calling me names about my race. And I was so confused. I was like, she didn't like me because I was fat. She even downright said it. It was like this whole... Thing. I can't. And I have no idea what was happening. I was like, and then so my friend was like beating her up, and I was like, we do not have to do this. But later on, fast forward, we actually became friends. Isn't that weird how that freaking happens? Yes. Like it's really fucking weird. Um you have a super chat up there. Every time I see a story, I get called a liar. I, I okay, this has been my life my whole life. I'm just like this. Nothing, liar. <laughs> nothing has ever happened to me. Take a breath. <laughs> liar. <laughs> Um, therapy would be good to your mental and physical health. I agree. Nice made up story. 
why ask for the story if you don't want to hear it? And you're gonna call you guys lying. wouldn't believe the fucking shit I went through. But if you want to call me a liar, I'm totally fucking fine with it. Totally fucking fine with it. And the fact that you don't believe it just proves that I have been through some shit. You're worthy of so much good. Oh, thank you. Do you smoke weed? I do not. Eric just cracked me up. Why? What did I do? I don't know what I did. I don't know either. Um, favorite American Horror Story season? Um, I think we're both going to say the same. What is it called? Coven? Mm -hmm. I was like, where am I at right now? I knew we we're going to both have the same one. It's because you lied in the past. I did Little Fibs, which yes, is considered lying, over four fucking years ago. I want you to look me in the face and say, you have never, never fibbed I was before. just about to say that. It's so <laughs> stupid. If you honestly think about it, I hate when people say that. Everyone on this earth and on this planet is a liar. Everyone. Point blank, period. Period. Everyone fibs. The end. People sometimes lie to protect friends, family, themselves. Um, just There's circumstantial lies. Now just a lie to be a pure nasty person, that's when you have a problem. Yeah. You were still lying. Okay. I'm, I'm not lying about anything. I have given you guys the opportunity to ask me questions about literally anything. I am not lying. And you guys choose to believe what you want to believe. There is nothing more I can do besides tell you my truth. And you guys think that you can create a truth that isn't even fucking real. So who's the liar now? Point blank period at the end. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you'll continue to do it because it's fun to you guys. Liar. Lie. It's entertainment. Because if you guys were to believe everything I said, you would be fucking bored. You'd be bored. Okay, so there's nothing to talk about anymore we're just gonna peace out but by calling me a liar and creating a fake story to who i am that makes you guys have fun that makes you guys have entertainment i mean it's that simple so i mean if you're gonna tell a lie would it not be more of an elaborate story exactly oh i got picked to win a dance contest at my school <laughs> exactly thank you both oh uh, wait you're both sweethearts thank you for sharing oh thank, oh, thank you. you um i saw some more up here um Hey, I love, check your TikTok message from me. Okay, thank you for the um, super chat. I've actually been replying to most of my uh, messages on there. What are Eric's tattoos? Uh, this one is for my mom. It's Cursed Cowardly Dog. It says, the things I do for love. This one is from Kesha's album because I loved it so much and I related to it. <clears throat> um, and then I have more, but we don't have to talk about all of them. Every single one. <laughs> Every single one. I'm like, we don't have to talk about all of them. <laughs> Um, why are you going to keep doing you knows if you're just going to be mad every time? Not mad. I am frustrated. Oh. Lying about oh. that is not a fib. I'm so glad your ex is healing and done with you. If you guys knew the truth, you would feel so bad for everything that you guys have put me through regarding that subject. And... Oh, it's okay. It's, oh. it's honestly so, like, I'm just over it. I'm sorry. Don't cry. Don't give them what they want. Because it's so hard. Like. Sorry. It's okay, baby. It's, it's, this happens every fucking time we talk about this. It's okay. And yes, I did use the wrong word. I meant to say, what's that word? Coerced? Coerced. Co 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 yeah, coerced. Coerced. Yeah. When you make someone do something they don't want to do and you force them. But I mean, that is rape, molestation, whichever one. I don't know. Like. It's molestation. But I mean, it is rape. If you're making someone have sex with you and it was not consensual, that's, that's rape. And it's like, I am so tired of this back and forth because it's never, this is never going to stop at all. People will always say what they want to say about this whole situation. But if you guys knew. If you guys knew the truth, you'd feel fucking horrible. Okay. And there's a lot of sociopaths watching me, and I think that's the reason why it's so easy for you guys to be assholes regarding the whole thing all the time. And it's like, this has affected me so much that the proof that I do have, I'm not willing to sit there and give it out because this is so fucking much. This is just too much. At the end of the day, all you need is for you to know the truth and people around you to know so i mean that's all you need yeah it's just hard when it's constantly in your face and knowing that you're not the one lying is honestly gut-wrenching it like physically hurts so 
and that's the reason why a lot of the people don't people who go through things don't, don't come forward with it. come forward because especially if they don't have proof proof it's like i wish i had all the messages i wish i had just everything and i do have stuff from an ex of his that you guys wouldn't even believe but i am not gonna ever do that because it's just it's just too much drama but it's like every time i come on live this is all that i see this is literally all that i see so it's hard because it's something that i went through that is constantly being shoved down my throat and i'm just like i don't know it's just a lot I love you so much, girl. Please stay strong and please check your Insta DMs. I try my best to draw you. Uh, what's your username? And thank you. I love you too. So then I remember to look it up or make sure to see the picture because I have a lot of um, DMs on there. Draw a picture of me. Right? <laughs> I'm like, please, I'd love to see it. Sweetie, the ones that support you believe you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm just frustrated. It just hurts. And, like, the fact that people think that I'm an actress, like, that I'm actually sitting here lying, that's, I need to, like, literally be in a movie. Point blank, period, the end. I need to make millions because <laughs> this YouTube thing is clearly not working for me. <laughs> um, stay tough. Don't back down. That's the reason why I'm still on here. What time is it anyway? Um, about to be five o'clock. Okay, I have, I do have to get off here soon though. Oh, yeah. My six hundred pound life movie. I know that was hate, but that's actually funny. <laughs> I'd watch it. Drink a shot every time she says point blank. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Tell Becky we miss her. Hi. That's weird that that person said Poppy. No, it's because me and Becky were just talking about that name. That's so weird. Why? Are you it's something about? to do with um, Crystal. I'll tell you later. Uh, Make a TikTok. I do. I do have a TikTok. What is this about Poppy? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm going to have to get moderators. Babe, maybe you can do that. Every time I'm chat, you can be over there. Delete the hate. Walk in the hate. <laughs> Becky, um, they love you. I love them too. The ones who deserve it anyway. <laughs> the rest are peasants. Are you guys still here? Because I just got a call on my phone. I don't know if it like glitched the system. The system. I do have to get off of here in like 10 minutes though. Um, okay, so what do you think of Ona Onision. Onision? I don't know. I don't know him, and I don't know about him. I've heard a few things, but I don't really know. This was like a while back. Oh, my God. The things I would do. What'd that say? The things I would do to Eric. <laughs> hey, would you give a girl a try? I feel like you're bisexual. There is spectrums. There, listen. When I took the test, start. I'm not even joking. I was straight up on the gay, like, it was like a rainbow a spectrum. dick pig. Okay, like, let's do it right here live. Okay. Because I want to see my spectrum. Okay, so which, what, what am I going to? How gay am I? How gay? Please? I don't know. <laughs> Let me ask Google. Hey, how gay am I? I don't know how that works. Quiz? You are skinny at heart. <laughs> You're telling me. Buzzfeed? Should I do that one? Well, there should be like, type in gay spectrum quiz, actually. No, it's called the Kinsey scale. The, oh, okay. Kinsey. Oh, Kinsey scale. Yes, I have tried fentramine. Okay. And it, Do you want to go first or am I going? How many questions are there, though? Seven. Oh, there's only seven questions. Okay, you go first. Okay. To whom are you attracted to? Hmm. But attracted. See, that's hard. Attracted in what way? Because you can look at both sexes. I can sexes. find a woman pretty, but I'm not, like, physically so attracted. So, are we talking about sexually attracted? Like, hey, baby. That's the way I'm taking it. Okay. All right. So, okay. Only people of the same sex as mine. Okay. Second question. Who would you have sex with? 
only people of my I would not know. I've had chances. No. No. Who have you had sexual fantasies about? Men. Oh, man, honey. Ew! Who, whom do you form strong emotional bonds with? Women. Uh, mostly people of the opposite sex of mine. Who do you feel most comfortable socializing with? Women. The idea of having sex with someone of the opposite sex. Disturbing. That's disgusting. To me, I'm just like, I can't. Thought of touching a <laughs> vagina, I'm sorry. No, nope. the idea of having sex with someone of the same sex of mine is desirable. Exclusively homosexual. Wow. Exclusively homosexual. All right, let me see it. Okay. Do I have to be honest? Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. To whom are you attracted? Okay, so we're talking about sexually. That's the way I took it. <laughs> I was, I'm reading all the answers. Hold on. There's both men and women. Mostly people of the opposite sex for mine. Mostly people of the same sex as mine. Only people of the opposite sex for mine. Only people of the same sex as mine. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What does it say? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't. He would do it, I feel like. No. I feel like he would do it. Why does your girlfriend think this about me, Rebecca? You make out with a girl. Maybe she wishes that she would, that you would make out with her. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's probably what it is. <laughs> I'm going to say, so sexually, that's hard. I'm trying to think. Is there any guys that I sexually love? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I really don't think so. Hold on. Rebecca, what do you think? Oh, yeah. What's a guy that I'm sexually attracted to? David I'm not sexually attracted that to guy David Dobrik. I'm guy, not. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Big Brother. There was a couple guys on there. Jack. I'm not. This Mickey. No. That girl that Haley was with. Uh, Fess Fessy? F F what was his no. name? No! You have that all twisted. Mm. I'm trying to think. I really don't think there is a guy that I'm sexually attracted to. So that would be only people of the same sex, right? I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Angelina, honey, I think you're living a selfish thing. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no dick I want to touch is what I'm trying to say. Well, no, I mean, sexually attraction, you don't have to touch their parts. What is sexual attraction then? Explain it. I'm taking this test Seriously. Seriously. Like, physical, like, attraction to them. She would make out with a cute guy. She's so bad. Okay, mostly people of the same sex. Mostly, okay. Who have you Who have you had sex with? I've never had sex with Is handjobs sex? No. I don't know. Only people Does, this, do, do you guys count handjobs as sex? Yes or no? Is sexual activity? Did they come? They said yes. No, yes. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. 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 No, 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 no. It's like a mixed thing. So, I don't know. I'm just going to go with only people with the same sex because that's what I went like. To who? Didn't I just do that? Yeah, I think you clicked back. Oh. <laughs> Whoever had you set, had, uh -huh. who have you had sexual fantasies about? Mostly people with the same sex. Are we talking about my past too? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, everything, period. Your whole life. Okay. <laughs> with whom do you form strong emotional bonds? Only people with the same sex. No offense. <laughs> but in general, who do you feel the most comfortable socializing with same sex? Um, the idea of having sex with someone of the opposite sex from mine is either desirable, interesting, tolerable, negative, or disgusting. Disgusting. Negative. Negative. Because <laughs> I don't know. Like, right. negative. Like, it's disgusting, but it's like, like, I don't know. The idea of having sex with someone of the same sex as mine is desirable. Okay, let's see where you fall on this. <gasps> Let's see, let's see. Homosexual with inc 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 incidental. Inc incidental heterosexual tendencies. What does that mean? You are gay, but you do have uh, tendencies, not on purpose, to like of heterosexuality. That makes sense. I'm a lesbian though, don't worry. Yeah. You just have that little snitching. You you're dipping your toe in the water. <laughs> That's funny. That was fun. How am I not being a true friend to you? What did I do? I don't know. I don't either. The pooping and shower things is what? such a rumor, and that just goes to show that right there. What goes yeah. to show how people are so? Where did that come from? They believe anything they hear because that is not true. So I have three more minutes of being on here. My throat is starting to hurt. You better get away from me. Mm -mm. I've been noticing for the last like. 10 minutes every time I swallow my throat hurts. 
I don't time it. It's because I actually have somewhere to go. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Wait, it's what was the like, question? Whatever. Oh, shut up. That's someone asked a question. I was like, oh my God, that's funny. What do you think of Hungry Fat Chick and her attitude to food? I don't know enough about her. From what I have seen, though, she seems like super sweet. I don't know. P. <clears throat> Who is the bigger freak, you or Becky? Is this just in general or sexual? I feel like it's sexual. Becky. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. You guys are hilarious. Please do these every day. I mean, so far, I have been doing them daily for a minute, but... um. It's starting to get a lot because people are bringing up things that hurt me. So when I come on here for fun, you know, Mm -hmm. when I'm in a really good mood, people say that I'm drunk and annoying. And then when I'm crying, people say that it's crocodile tears and I'm faking and lying. So it's like, I don't know who to be anymore. I feel like people are trying to change me. So then it puts me in a box and I honestly don't know how to act sometimes. Um, Why don't you keep these on your channel? I don't know. I just like to keep them private. Um, Brittany Murphy. Oh, my God. I miss her. She was such a good actress. So sad. Yeah. Let's all have a moment of silence. Okay. (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, Why are you peeing in videos? I'm so confused. Does Becky listen to Sleeping with Sirens or Pierce the Veil? I have listened to Sleeping with Sirens. Pierce the Veil right here? No. She said she's listened to Sirens. Can I have a shout out, Amberlynn? Hi, Joanne Phillips. Thank you for the super chat. Mm -hmm. Eric is on EBT. You mean (laughs) BET. You're not BET? What's that? Black Entertainment Television? Oh! BET? I was like, what is that? Thank you, Anna Marie. You're so white. No, I have heard of it, but I was like, you're on there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's not funny. That's seriously not funny. What? They said that fruit has AIDS. That's seriously not funny. Okay, that's fucked up. See, this is what I'm saying. But I'm a bitch because whatever, but people are allowed to say stuff like that. That's just awful. Oh my god. Imagine thinking these two are funny. I mean, I feel like I'm funny sometimes. Right? I mean, if the people think we're funny, they're there. I mean, yeah, they're here watching. They must find us some form of entertaining. This thing right here popped up and it's so itchy. How, do you ever get those like little bumps on your hand that just itches? Like yeah. just one. Sometimes, like, oh. What is that? It's like not even like an actual bump, but it's just like you can feel it. Do you know no, what I'm talking about? and it's like so itchy. It, yes. See, I itched my so hard it turned red. I what don't is think that? Here. I, mean, I don't know if these are like. You Ew! Know, the what skin. the fuck is that? I don't know. They appeared like years ago. Every time like I ripped them off, they just come back. Okay, why do you rip them off? Like I peel the skin off because I'm like I don't know what this is. I don't want it there. When will Amber die? I how can nobody some, knows. I, well, yeah, but how can someone say stuff like They're, that? I don't do I watch know. Shane's conspiracy theories? Oh uh, yes, we I love you it because you troll us. Okay. Um, which reaction channel do you hate the most? I don't hate any of them. I don't really hate people. Stop eating carbs. No. 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 I think that'd be, it's really freaking hard to try to do that. It's so hard whenever we're doing, it's so freaking hard. Uh, it's not even funny. I can't even imagine. Like, mm. and I, we were only doing minimal. Carbs are so good. Uh, yeah. Carbs are friends. You know who like, I miss? Robin Williams. <gasps> yes. I freaking agree. Mm. Yep. That's awful. So I have to get off of here. I don't know if you read that comment. Because I have to do something. That's right. Oh, stop complaining about trolling when you constantly do it to your audience. I don't. But, um... There's a difference between trolling in a fun way and trolling in, like... You're being a complete asshole. Tell so to die. yeah, um, I don't really know if I'm going to continue doing lives because it's honestly such like a negative thing. And sometimes I'm having like real good time with it. And then other times it's like, you guys know how to beat someone up mentally and emotionally. 
Um, you can't handle the pressure. Would you be able to? I highly doubt it. So anyways, um, I'm going to go. I have things I have to do. Bye, Bye people.